Good evening from London. The FTSE All Share was trading in positive territory today, despite recent data from China suggesting the world's second largest economy may be experiencing a slowdown. Following the announcement that the US, UK and Australian governments are setting up a new trilateral security partnership powered by nuclear submarines, Rolls-Royce PLC and BAE Systems were the leading stocks on the FTSE 100. Elon Musk's SpaceX has successfully launched the first ever orbital flight, crewed entirely by tourists. The crew of Inspiration4 blasted off from NASA's Kennedy Space Center at 8 p.m. local time yesterday and will spend the next three days in orbit aboard their 13-foot-wide crew Dragon capsule. They will free fly 100 miles higher than where the International Space Station is currently orbiting. The mission marks a major step forward for space tourism and for Elon Musk. Musk's plans to make the journey accessible to anyone with the money to fund a rocket. The crew is expected to return to Earth this Saturday. Co-op will partner with Amazon to allow Prime users to do their full grocery shop online with a same-day delivery. The new partnership, which launched in Glasgow today, is part of a wider strategy to hike the convenience retailers' online sales by a third to £200 million. Co-op will be offering its full range of 3,000 grocery items if customers are signed up to Amazon's Prime subscription service. Orders over £40 will be delivered free of charge. The partnership has received criticism from union bosses who are campaigning to improve Amazon workers' rights. Virgin Australia has announced that it will make vaccination mandatory for all staff, in line with the airline's domestic competitor, Qantas. Bosses say by November 15th, all employees, including pilots, cabin crew and those at check-in desks and lounges, must adhere to the policy. Ongoing lockdowns across major cities in Australia have continued to hamper domestic travel. Singapore Airlines, Malaysia Airlines and Hong Kong's Cafe Pacific are among those in nearby Asia that have also made vaccinations among staff compulsory. Those are your main stories from London at close of business.